We remain in the field of entrepreneurship through the example of Ghana. In this country, which has more than 500 startups, many new entrepreneurs lack the skills but also lack access to capital and technology to run a business and operate in a competitive environment. To remedy this, the government of Ghana relies on startup incubators and they are popular with entrepreneurs. Our journalist George Ibo Saki and John Owutwi visited one of them, the Ghana Innovation Hub. Take a look. With the establishment of the new support services firm, the Ghana Innovation Hub, Ghana's authorities are helping entrepreneurs like Folasade Rufai of Dawa Foods make their businesses more competitive, not just in the local market, but internationally too. At the time when I applied for the program, I did not have any um, properly structured um, financial management in place for my business. And um, as I speak now, um, I have been assisted through the program to have um, a better uh, bookkeeping and financial uh, management structure for my business. I've also been able to meet um, friends here who have introduced me to people who can stock my products. The Ghana Innovation Hub was established by Ghana's Ministry of Communication with funding from the World Bank. Since its creation in 2019, the center has engaged with over 2,000 youth groups with entrepreneurship training program. As a result, about 90 new companies are being trained or are at various stages of development. We have three main partners in the implementation. So I myself work for MDF West Africa, but we uh, also partner with, uh, with GCTU and Blue Space Africa. So it's a consortium of three organizations that's managing the space and also running the programs here. The companies enjoying GIH's support vary from agro-processing, packaging, to technology-based industries and firms offering innovative solutions. The center provides workspaces for businesses, conference rooms for training, and workshops and meeting rooms for planning, networking, and engagement. The hub also has space to showcase the products of trainees for marketing and promotional purposes. Here in the Ghana Innovation Hub, we have a chef where we showcase the products of our entrepreneurs. So all these products you see here are samples of what they do. And in a way of helping them, we advertise it for them. When someone walks in, they can get their contacts from here then call them to make their purchases. Centers like the Ghana Innovation Hub are essential to reducing youth unemployment in Ghana by teaching young entrepreneurs and innovators to navigate the business world through skills development and resource assistance. The Innovation Hub is helping youth to economically support themselves through entrepreneurship and business development while reducing the pressure on the government to provide public sector jobs for its youth. Two companies that were in that first cohort, one is processing egg into dried egg powder, which is used for pharmaceuticals. And they've now grown to a stage where they're also doing other products and other poultry products. And they are now in the Orange Corners Acceleration Program. So they have grown their business to a level that they need support in formalizing their financing, uh, their financial management, but also their sales and distribution. Um, so that is one example. Um, another example is Tropical Growers, who is also it was in that same cohort of Innovate GH. They are doing lettuce and herbs with aquaponics. So hydroponics, it's a water-based growing system. You don't need soil. With the appropriate level of investment and resources from the government and other development partners, the center has the potential to give many more young entrepreneurs the needed assistance to bring their innovative ideas and visions to contribute towards Ghana's industrialization drive.